Here in his Manhattan apartment, 150th Street and Riverside Drive, where he lives with his wife, Fanny McConnell, Mr. Ellison, at 51, took time out from the last stages of work on his new novel to grant one of his rare interviews and also to read a passage from his complex work in progress. He frequently employs the tape recorder to test the rhythm of his writing and get back into it. Uh, there are a lot of people who are going to be uh, interpreting uh, my face, my statements in terms of my racial identity rather than in terms of the quality of what I have to say. Uh, power uh, for the writer, uh, it seems to me, lies in his ability to reveal uh, uh, a just, if only a little bit more, about the complexity of, of, uh, of humanity. And in this country, I think it's very, very important for uh, the writer to, no matter what the agony of his experience, uh, uh, he should stick to what he's doing because the slightest thing that it's new or the slightest thing which has been overlooked, uh, uh, which would tell us about the, the, the unity of American experience beyond all considerations of class, of, of race, or religion, are uh, very, very important. And I think that the nation is still in a process of becoming, of, of, of drawing itself together, of discovering itself. And when the writer fails to contribute to this, then he's, he's played his, his uh, art false. Exposed and open, authentic and chosen Golden soul flow like the ocean Truth is who is ruthless The toothless man Nobody's truly hard cause it's too tough To plan plus I'd rather be a Underlearner than years I spent As an under earner Underground light bulbs now I overstand My likeness, invisible man Delight in wealthy pleasures of our nation Only few capitalize Enough to celebrate it Must I give my soul to take it If I'm too black and middle I'm hated If I'm too white and corporate I'm hated Chess is for suckers anyway Love is self-educated Chill with the paradigms in my mind Guess I got my own paradigms to play with Instead of those two racists Who also running in rap races Even if you win, face it You still rats with fat faces You can't see me, man I'm invisible, man You can't see me, man I'm invisible, man you can't see me, man, I'm invisible, man. 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 I'm invisible, man. I'm invisible, man. Relevant, intelligent, like Ralph Ellison Split between black and white What would be more prevalent than being like Obama But save the drama I ain't no political, official, socialist, Osama All I do is spit all the thoughts for getting richer Psycho-cybernetic, self-image, get the picture? African boy, born in American land Teaching American boys about African land Bound to be a billionaire, globally expand I don't need Obama's handouts, man Natural hustler, a self-made man Creating my own economies Paying taxes, though the state's the robber me A necessary evil for people's psychology Who chase the dollar with no purpose of sovereignty Grew up with the sheeple, wool over my eyes Outstanding with people, lying hearted but disguised You can't see me, man, I'm invisible, man you can't see me, man, I'm invisible, man. 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 I'm invisible, man. I'm invisible, man. Rappers lost heart in the lost art Walking like carcasses in the lost dark Voices spewing negativity Ruining humans basic longevity What's the proclivity? This would ever get to me Not at all, I spit it in, I ball Never was tall, but I answered the call So my courage is bigger than the biggest Goliath Those giants, they might even try us 
Let them face David, knock between their eyes and they can fall to the ground Crash and display it, those who have faith We'll always make it, that's why everything I spit will forever be sacred And everything I got, I created And it's hotter than your whole playlist Hip hopping over every trap in the whole matrix Victory over the streets, b-boys, b-girls Back to basics You can't see me man, I'm invisible man You can't see me man, I'm invisible man You can't see me man, I'm invisible man you can't see me, man, I'm invisible, man. 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 I'm invisible, man. I'm invisible, man. Ellison, would you describe the, the genesis of your first novel? I came to write Invisible Man as a result of a, of a failure. I had conceived of a novel during the time I was going to see I was during the Second World War I was working as a second cook and baker on merchant ships but somehow um, the Rosenwald Fund had granted me a uh, fellowship to work on a novel and I had a novel it was a wartime novel uh, uh, wherein it, I had a um, Negro flyer. We were very excited by the fact that Negroes were flying planes during that war, but also concerned that um, they weren't being allowed uh, into combat as rapidly as some of us thought so. But anyway, I conceived of this book wherein a Negro flyer comes down as captured by the Nazis and is uh, placed in a uh, detention camp where he is the highest ranking officer. Uh, you can see how uh, <laughs> how my mind was working. Uh, he was a highest ranking American and you had the Nazi who uh, was philosophically minded and uh, who uh, pitted this American against the other Americans. Well, going into La Havre uh, on that particular trip to see when I was working on this book, uh, it turned out to be such a hot passage that um, I came back uh, to the States with a blood pressure of about 90 and, and absolutely uh, through with that particular idea. The emotional organization and everything was just while um, there, one morning, scribbling, I wrote uh, the first sentence of, of uh, what later became Invisible Man. I'm an invisible man. And I played with that, started to reject it, but it intrigued me and I began to put other things with it. And uh, uh, pretty soon I had a, a novel going. I began to to work out a conceptual outline of it, and uh, as fast as I could work out the concepts, the, the incidents started flowing in on me.